Buddy, uh, just a quick review of the weekend. Um, you know, at the beginning of the season, I told our guys we were going to play a lot of close games, and we've had three games that have come down to the last play. And I think the biggest thing that that our kids got to understand about that is it's not always the last play that determines winning and losing. There's a whole lot of plays from the first quarter on that make a difference, and just little adjustments, a uh, little understanding in the execution um, can make a big difference. Uh, and, and we had a handful of plays like that throughout the game that really affected the outcome at the end. And, um, you know, we had a chance to review the film today. Um, one of the things in the game, we did not play well on special teams. And, you know, we're like every other team in America right now. We've got guys that are hurt, guys that have missed a couple games. Guys got banged up. We played a several really physical games in a row. And some of the key guys that we got hurt were on special teams that were kind of our glue guys that don't get a lot of attention. But we missed them on Saturday. Um, you know, guys like Pete Montini and, um, you know, he plays on every team. And we did not play as well as we had on special teams. And we have to play well really for us to win important games. And so that's an area we want to really shore up this week. Um, really proud in some areas are, you know, handling the turnovers, um, you know, our penalties. Um, we, we improved in several areas. We outrushed um, our opponent last week. So there's some key areas in the game where we did a good job, but, but overall uh, just not enough to get over the hump. Um, we're extremely excited to come home this week and to play Air Force, um, a ranked team, an undefeated team, a team that's done a really good job in our league. Um, I, uh, Kyle just told me uh, CSU hasn't beaten a ranked team since 2002, and we have 44 players on our roster that were alive in 2002. The rest of them were all too young. So it's been a while. So it's a great opportunity for us to play a really good football team. They're a unique team, you know, they're they're, you know, the the leading rushing team in the nation, but they're one of the best defensive teams as well. Best defensive team in our conference and so it's a it's a tough combination when you play against a team like that. Um, you know, there's a certain style of play that you have to be aware of when you play Air Force. There's certain factors and qualities in the game and there's a path to victory that you have to follow or you're going to get caught up in, in, in their formula for winning. And so you got to pay attention to possessions. you got to pay attention to the clock. Um, and you got to really take advantage of your opportunities in this game. And they really understand their strengths and weaknesses very well as a program. And so we're very excited to come back to Canvas, uh, play in front of our home crowd, and, and, uh, and play a very a quality Air Force team. Jay, I know every time you play Air Force, everybody talks about time of possession because they're so good at it. For you as an offensive coach, do you look at time of possession or is it more about offensive efficiency and maximizing your possession? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we've played at a pretty good tempo, and uh, one of the things you just have to be mindful of is, is uh, you know, we're getting 16 to 18 possessions in a game. When you, when you play against Air Force, you usually get about eight. So they cut your opportunities in half because they control the ball for so long. And so you have to be efficient and you have to make sure that when you have the ball, you're doing the right things with it. And, and so that just, you just have to be very, very focused in your execution. And so our guys understand that um, and you got to take advantage of it and you got to disrupt what they do. You know, I think that's important. You got you to create a turnover. You got to get a minus yardage play. You got to get them off the field and get them off schedule defensively, uh, really to have a chance to beat them. And so they, they've done an excellent job. You know, they've really improved, I think, over the last couple of years in their defensive personnel. That's where they've really changed, and they've done an excellent job. When you, think, you talked a little bit about third downs, especially early in the game. You need to be, is it one of those things where you need to be more effective, make those key plays? Yeah, especially on the short third downs that you've had. Yeah, you you, you got to extend drives, and so uh, you know three and outs are not good in this game. You have to extend drives. You got to get first downs. You got to control the clock, and um, you know, and, and you got to score points. Um, 
you know, to really to really stay in a game like this. And so, you know, they have an ability to score as well. Um, I mean, you got to score probably 35 points to win a game like this. So that's something that's pretty much week to week for us right now. And so um, we understand those factors. And it's really important that these the kids really prepare as a team and that we play well in all three phases. You touched on their defense, but what does kind of jump out about what they can do on that side of the ball? And, and obviously it's kind of helped by the offense limiting chances. Out yeah, you know, the they, 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 their offense stays on the field, so their defense is fresh. Um, you know, they're, they're a four down front. You know, they used to be a little bit more odd, but they're a four down front. Um, they, they play more man than you would think they do. And uh, they're they're very aggressive in their pass rush and in their coverage schemes, and so they're a quality defense, uh, very sound. They don't do a lot of different things, and really most good defenses don't. Um, but they they pressure the quarterback, and and they they do a good job stopping the run. So, you know, they're a physical football team, and you have to play physical to beat them. And uh, you know, and their defense is a big part of it. They're how does the mentality on defense need to change for you this week to, like you said, manage the clock, get them off the field? Yeah, it's a different it's a different style of game, obviously, whenever you play Air Force. Um, you know, we got to be physical, and, and uh, we obviously have to stop the run. And, uh, you know, you got you to gotta get them in some uncomfortable situations when, when you can, uh, you know, when you can knock them, knock them uh, in the head on first down and, uh, and and stop that first play of the drive. You put them in long yardage situations. Um, you know, it's it's it puts them in different situations where they're uncomfortable. And so we have to be prepared to do that. And uh, you know, we got to do a good job of that. They don't pass a ton, but they've been super efficient at it. Yep. How difficult is that to obviously be you know tuned in on that run, but not get caught out on? That? Yeah, you know, what they kind of lull you to sleep. Um, in, with their run game because they do run it so much, but then they're certainly capable of making big plays. And, and that's part of reading your keys and being disciplined. A very important week for, for discipline and eye, eye discipline in this game. And so, um, you know, we just got to do a good job of reading our keys. You know, we've had a ton of walkthroughs and things preparing for these guys. We did some preseason work, as we always do. Because um, they are so different, they're hard to prepare for in one week. Um, but you know, it's it's part of being disciplined and understanding that that's part of their package, and they're going to get to it eventually. I think we ask this every Air Force week, but do you have to change your scout? Do you have a, a scout QB that can run this? Yeah, yeah, we have some. We have some a couple different guys that are doing a good job with that, and and some guys that ran the option in high school. And so, you know, it's 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 really important, and it's a great question. You know the scout looks are really important that we mirror their their offense and defensive schemes, and that's been a really a a, a really pleasant surprise this year. Our scout looks are incredible compared to what they've been in the past, and we have good young players that are that are doing a good job on scout team and really giving our, <coughs> our varsity guys an opportunity to see what they're going to play against. Who are those guys? Your scout. The scouts are yeah, all the, the scout team quarterbacks. Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure who's running the scout team quarterback. I got to check on that. Yes. Yeah. Um, they had to replace. I mean, some key offensive guys this this year, um, but really haven't missed a beat. I mean, specifically with Zach Larry or the quarterback, um, looked like he's going to miss some time, but now he's you know seemed pretty healthy. Um, what impresses you about him that he's kind of been able to step into that role for them and kind of lead yeah. Them? No, he's he's a good leader and and he's an excellent player and. Um, he's run that offense, protected the ball. Um, he's obviously athletic, but he also can make quality throws and big plays in the passing game. So, you know, he's a guy we definitely got to control. Um, you know, we got to find a way to play on their side of the line of scrimmage at times. And that's, that's a difficult thing to do against these guys. Uh, but, you know, you got to win your one-on-one -on -one battles in this game, and especially up front. And we got to find a way to be disruptive and, and make them play uncomfortably. And, um, you know, and that's going to be the challenge. Jim, we talked the oddity of your week two bye. You're now six weeks into an 11 game. How's, how's your team handled that mentally, physically? And then has it challenged the depth that you felt like it was, had improved on? This? Yeah, I mean, it's, 
it's typical this time of year. You know, you're we played a lot of physical games, and the first, you know, Monday, Tuesday is not a comfortable day for a lot of our players. They're still healing up. Um, but that's when you play in a good league and you play good talent, you're going to have that. And so we'll, we'll be smart and manage our guys and get them back on the field. Um, you know, we've lost a couple guys for a couple games, and so your, your depth does get challenged. And, you know, sometimes you see that on special teams. And so we've got to – we got to step up, and some of our younger players got to take on more of a role on special teams and do a better job. And so, you know, that's it's going to be really important in this stretch. We're going to play some, you know, we got some more physical games in front of us, so we got to respond the right way. Did you, as a staff, knowing this was coming, alter your schedule for how the season plays out to maybe build in some days to get guys' legs back? to whatever it is as you go through this? Yeah, we've been doing that. Uh, you know, we've had a couple victory Mondays where we've given guys off Monday. And so we're mindful of that. Um, you know, and as we get to the end of the year, we shave a little bit off of practice to be mindful of guys' legs. But but some players just do so much on Saturdays. Uh, um, you know, Tory Horton, Mo Camara, those guys, you know, we're smart with them at the beginning of the week. And, you know, we, we try to – let the other kids get some more reps to get caught up and take a little bit off them and get them, get them back for the game. Okay, you mentioned kind of the, the one-score games that you guys have been, been playing in. Obviously, you're a couple plays away from being you know, a two-loss team at this point of the year. Do you have to manage your own internal expectations um, and maybe not get, try not to get too frustrated given it is year two for you and you, you know this is going to be – you knew this was going to be a longer – process or is does the frustration natural? No, it's it's you know the the goal is to play well and win and and so um, and in that we have certain styles of offense and defense that we're pushing for what we want our football to look like and we're getting closer. Um, we really are. We're getting closer. Um, I think the league is way better this year. I I thought the league was poor last year. You know, the offense is in the league, the quarterbacks, the skill players just were not what they have been. And the league is much stronger this year. The offenses are way better. People are scoring at a higher clip. And so it's just a competitive league. Every week you're going to play people that can score. And so, um, yeah, we're disappointed. We've fallen short. Um, you know, we've we've had different, different players in some key positions at the end of the game. Uh, at times, and, and we have to learn from that and gain experience from it. And, you know, we're still shuffling a lot of young players in, and, and they're gaining, you know, really important experience. And, uh, you know, we still got a young quarterback who learns every week, you know, and he's, to his credit, he's responded pretty well in some tough situations. And so, you know, last week, uh, you know, if I would have had to do it all over again, it was so hard to score. He ended the game, we actually scored too quick, you know, at the end of the game. And, you know, if I had to do it over again, we would have slowed down there at the end. And But we still had to get in field goal range. And, you know, I, I credit Jordan. What an amazing kick he made uh, there at the end of the game. I think it was the longest kick in school history as far as being on the road. Um, so give him credit for that. But those are all situations we work really hard on. You know, we worked the two-minute drill again today. And, and – um, um, you know, but to answer your question, you know, the goal is to, to play well and to win, and and um, we're going to keep pushing for that. Getting back to Jordan, how, from a coach's standpoint, how nice is it to have a kicker that you have confidence in and that he has some depth? Yeah, I, I mean, it, he that, that kick would have probably been good. He probably had another seven, eight yards in that kick, and, I mean, and he, you could hear it when he hit it. He really thumped it, and, and um, you know, Really, really good snap, really good hold by Patty, and just good execution by that that whole team. But you know, it, it it it's really, really a good feeling knowing we have Jordan and that he's a mature guy that's been in those situations. And you know, two weeks in a row, he hit really huge kicks for us. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Appreciate it.